Well, any task such as cooking can be made a whole lot easier if you have the right little tool and gizmo and gadget and uh, the lady with all of some of the most unique little gizmos and gadgets, Erin Chase from five minute or five dollar and maybe five minute Both. recipes is here. And some That's of these right. gadgets, wait till you find out what these are. This is the greatest thing in the world, I think. So you want to start over here with the crock pot. Before we get there, we're going to talk <laughs> about the crock pot. So tell me about the crock pot you have at your house. It is, you know, the big the crock pot that goes in there, and it's got low and high. Low and high. Low and high. The dial setting. Does it make amazing food? Eh. 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 Because you have the wrong kind of crock pot. I want you to get a programmable crock pot. You can see here on the front, it has the different um, settings. You have high and low, and then you can set it to the half hour. So you can set it for an hour and a half. If okay. you're doing salmon, you could set it for eight hours or nine and a half, depending on your workday, right? So you can set it. And then what happens when it's done with the cooking cycle is it switches to warm. So then it's not overheating running hot and drying out your So a lot food. of people would say, though, just, you know, they don't need too many bells and whistles on it, but this actually does, because like you said, it's not going to then take it to mush. Exactly. Which sometimes can happen, like with the chicken breast. Exactly. You're going to have perfectly cooked food, and that's why I love the programmable Crock-Pot, it's a little bit more expensive than the mm -hmm. Dia one, but it's not going to ruin your food. It's a good investment, and you'll save money in the long run by not having a dinner and fall apart. And if it tastes better and everybody eats the food, then you're not wasting it, so forth and so exactly. forth. Okay. Exactly. Exactly. So worth the money. All right, what's next? This is Father's Day is coming up. This is just a couple gift ideas for you. These are the fancy and super delicious jams from Stonewall Kitchen, and these are super fantastic. Wild blueberries from Maine. Yes, and please. This is a great gift jam. for the, like my dad, he has everything. Mm -hmm. This would be great for toast or warm, for dinner. Warm biscuits. Warm biscuits with this delicious like top. raspberry yes. champagne and peach. Pardon me while I just take a spoon and start no. just eating it out of here, right? And those would be great to make uh, great little sauces to put mm -hmm. over chicken uh, exactly. on the grill or something yep. or pork chop. You could thin these out with a little cream and then you'd have a delicious sauce. Okay, Mike's about to run out of here and grill these. Mm. So you mentioned these cream. Good. Okay. are um, lunch bags, reusable right. lunch bags. I love these. These are actually from the container store. Two sizes. This is a smaller size. They make a larger size. Wash them in the washing machine. Really? Yes. Just oh. wash them with, well, by themselves is how I usually right. do it. Uh, right. You could mix them in with the towels or something like so that. So you or dish can towels. put that in the washing You well, can put that in the washing idea. machine. And it's just nice. It's it's reusable. You're not throwing away, adding waste, using the brown bags and whatnot. Because trying so. to take a, a kitchen sponge or something and wipe that out. No. Yeah. Dish, so. Washing machine, washing machine, washing machine. Perfect idea. All right. We've got muffin pans here. Texas size muffin pans. You can get this from World Kitchen. Okay, Texas size because you have boys. I have right. boys. They eat and a they lot. Eat. Yes. So this is the same amount of batter as if you were to make just a 12, like mm -hmm. 12 muffins. Typical, typical muffin um, batter mix is going to make 12 muffins, but you just put them in here. So two muffins worth. And then they're bigger. They fill them up. And, and you then get more of the good soft inside part. They get. Oh, it's perfect. It fluffs up so nicely and perfectly. A melon baller, which we have all seen, which is very handy and great for the kids because they can take, you know, make nice little things out of cantaloupe and watermelon. So I totally do that. The little personal size watermelons, I just mm -hmm. slice them in half. I two my two younger boys put them right there and they just take the melon ball, scoop it onto their plate. It's a fun little Perfect. ends up being this activity for them as well. Are you ready for this? And the piece de resistance. What is this gadget? Kind of a little sharp edge here, not too sharp, and it would be used in this fashion. It is called a food chopper and it is designed to break up ground beef or ground sausage when you're going to, you know, saute it in, it in a skillet, skillet, brown it in a skillet. You just do use that and you break it up and then you just wash it off and carry on with your dinner. Why didn't I think of that thing? Aaron, right? thank you very much. And for more information on $5 dinners, you can visit salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab.